Hey guys, Spiderbot here, and uh, Call of Duty channel over on YouTube, uh, Treyarch and Activision have just released the official Call of Duty Black Ops 2 launch trailer. I guess uh, those previous trailers weren't the official launch trailer, but this is, even though we're a month away. Uh, dive into the near future world of 2025, unraveling a generation-spanning story that has led to a global conflict unlike ever before. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 arrives November 13th, 2012. I've got some screenshots for you. This is pretty cool. They got these jet suits, man. These jet packs. Pretty awesome. And you can fly around these things. Got a couple more images of the guys flying around with these uh, jet packs on or jet suits. And I do have to say again, when I first watched the alpha footage on Jimmy Fallon, I was not impressed, okay? I was not impressed with that footage. But after seeing the Game Trailers TV on Spike, like last week, I, I was impressed. I was impressed with the campaign footage, and I'm impressed with the footage that I'm seeing here in this trailer. Uh, the this, the stuff they're incorporating with the custom classes as well as with the the challenges and, and uh, scoring, I think, are absolutely fantastic. And I'm really, really looking forward to playing this campaign. The only thing, the only thing that we haven't seen and we won't see probably until the game releases is Treyarch's spin on the campaign. I hope it's not the sensationalist type campaign that Modern Warfare 3 is with, you know, like, Pulling from the movies, all these scenes that are just, you know, explosions everywhere. Like, I want, I want the, the, the drama. I want the, the suspense. I want the not knowing what's going on like they had in Black Ops. You know, I thought that campaign was stellar because of not only the Easter eggs, the numbers, the, you know, all that sort of stuff that went into that campaign. It was like, at the end, it's like, shit, man. Like, Reznov wasn't even there the whole time. He's been dead forever, right? I really, really hope they incorporate something like that into this campaign, because if they do, I can almost guarantee you that this is going to be one of the best campaigns in Call of Duty. All right, carrying on to some more of the images. I like this guy with the shades, man. Cool. And it looks like uh, they actually, possibly, the characters broke into a location, and somebody is watching them live on, uh, on a camera, and they're looking into the camera. Uh, next up, and I can't really get a clear picture of this. I don't. I'm not sure if that's Woods. Maybe that's Woods. Uh, like I said, I predicted this months ago when uh, they first released information on uh, the campaign that the first mission uh, would be a mission where you actually go in and rescue Woods. And uh, we saw on Game Trailers TV that the first mission is called Monsoon, and this looks like an image that would have been taken possibly from that mission after the monsoon's over or whatever, after they break Woods out. I don't know. Anyways, that's just my guess. Uh, it may not look like Woods, but I uh, can't get a clear picture of him. So unsure about that one. Yeah, I like this one. I'm calling this the spider bite Easter egg. No, just kidding. <laughs> Anything with a spider in it. It's like on uh, Shangri-La when you had these little spiders come down their webs. I'm like, it's a spider bite Easter egg. No, but it's a uh, cool little spider. Not sure if this is uh, like a surveillance device and or explosive device, but we see in the next image that uh, it's running around searching for something, possibly a target. Not sure. And then uh, last but not least, the active camo. The active camo is looking pretty cool, and we did see this in the game trailers TV uh, presentation on Spike and uh, the new level of competitive gaming from MTV Geek. Uh, probably referring to the multiplayer, obviously, but uh, you know, again, with the with the challenges and possible scoring of the campaign missions, uh, you're going to have some competitive level in campaign as well, and zombies. So with the stat tracking and everything, there's going to be competition. I can guarantee it. Anyways, guys, that's it. That was the uh, the trailer. I mean, you can go watch it in the link. The sor uh, source link is in the description. Go check it out for yourself. But every time I see new footage of the campaign, I'm liking it more and more. But again, I really hope that Treyarch has their you know, their twist, their their storyline, Easter egg, uh, mess you up at the at the end sort of twist. And if they do in in fact have that and it's epic, I think I think the campaign is gonna be absolutely fantastic and I'm really looking forward to it, guys. November thirteenth, we'll see you there. Spider Bite out.